OMGs on his bike and he's got zip ties in the spokes. Welcome back to the Shed Quarters, I'm Jeff and in today's video we're looking at this little beastie, a universal bender. Now this is for bending flat steel up to 100mm wide and 7mm thick and it's got different blocks that bolt into here so this one's got a sharp edge and a 45 degree and this one's got two different radiuses or radii and there's another one's got a groove down the middle so you can put round bar in there now don't know how thick the round bar can be up to i haven't really read the instructions but this machine is actually on loan to me at the moment a friend of mine bought it probably six months ago and I asked if I could borrow it it was still in the packaging so I get to play first alrighty then let's start by making a temporary mount so it's going to be fairly solid for a temporary mount because well you have a fairly good lever on it to bend steel so let's do that Two hundred by six flat. Good mounting plate. If you measure from the outside of that hole to the same side of that one, it'll give you center marks. And these two holes are 170 mil apart. That's 200. They come in 15 mil from each edge. 170.
All right, I've got the machine set up. I did have to weld another brace bar in that goes back to my chassis table so that it doesn't wriggle, but it's solid enough now. So I've already done one test bend and I put a mark on this plate here. So the next one I want to do, just line him up with that mark, full handle, and it's set at the right distance. And then when I did the bend on the first piece, I put a mark down here. So when I get the next piece, I just pull it around till I line up my mark. Done. One more time. Now two pieces identical. Now I'm thinking I might need to get one of these machines for myself because as I said earlier this machine is on loan but this mounting arrangement is just not good so what I've got is a couple of clamps holding this base piece on and then I've got another bar on this side that goes all the way across to my chassis table and yeah there's a lot of force on this to bend this plate so what I'm going to do is get a piece of 50 by 6 flat I'm going to put some bends in it that's going to fit around the bottom of this plate and then from there we should be able to weld this onto the post that's in the middle of the shed so that's about the strongest thing around here so I've already got it marked out I'm going to go from the center and come out both ways and do two bends in one direction flip around do two bends in the other direction and if all goes to plan it should be the right shape now the biggest trick is making sure that you're always working from the same point with your marks and another thing you must always have this backstop here wound all the way in hard otherwise you get weird shaped bends because it's not putting pressure on it in the right spot all the way around so see what happens Now I worked it out with the bevel about what angle I want. So I'm just gotta put this up here. Now I'll put a little mark down in here. Always remember to wind that in. Makes a mess of your bends if you don't. I'll just come back around to that same spot. There we have it. Perfectly the right shape. It's a house. So I should be able to disassemble all this now. Take that top plate weld this to it and then weld all that to the post that's the plan anyway
Not too bad. I've done worse. Used cutoff wheels, great for packers. That is perfectly level and it's squared up with the table so time to weld it but first I must cover up this thing this is the Cubman it's a half scale Lotus 7 if you haven't seen the build then there's a very extensive build thread playlist here so cover that up do some welding fit this thing up When checking level, it's best to check it one way, spin it 180 degrees, check it again, just in case the level's not quite right. As long as it's showing the bubble level in both directions, it should be good. Yeah, that'll do I guess. Should do just fine. That ain't going nowhere. Yes, that is a chrome socket because I like to live dangerously. That and I'm only using it to wind them up. Sorted. <laughs> Move 
those may or may not have been a test piece when I made that. It's meant to be that shape, honestly. Beautiful radius. And didn't move. So, I'm happy with that. Now, if you don't have that backing plate wound in hard against the metal when you pull it round, end up with a weird shape. So that has to be hard against the steel, putting pressure on it. So, this machine's only on loan. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to buy my own now. Like I said, I did use one a lot when I was an apprentice, and they're great to have. But, I can use this mount for other things. So, that's it for this video. This little beast is awesome. However, this particular unit, a little bit of machining issue with the bolt hole here. So, hopefully when I buy my own, it'll be much better. But, that's it for this video. As always, customize everything. Come on, Chad Coggy! We're going to build a special lightweight race engine. So, let's get this in the shed and get started. Oh! Whoops.